What's up guys? I'm about to take a 30-hour train in Siberia from Irkutsk to a place called Novosibirsk. 30-hour train. I've always wanted to do it. I'm going to give myself a challenge to make five new friends along the way. You guys ready? Let's do it. The Trans-Siberian train is a bucket list adventure for hardcore travelers, and it's been on my list for many years. The journey starts in Moscow and then goes 9,000 kilometers or eight time zones across Siberia until it ends in Vladivostok. I didn't have time to do the complete train ride, so I decided to take one leg, which I've been told is the most beautiful, Irkutsk to Novosibirsk. I should also note that we are in the middle of winter where temperatures are around minus 30 and everything is covered in snow. I went on the adventure with my camera guy Andre and we were able to score a first class cabin. It turned out to be the wildest experience I've had in recent memory. Don't go anywhere for the next 20 minutes. This is Siberia. Uh, I got all kinds of baggage here. When you travel in Russia in the winter, you gotta have <laughs> a bigger suitcase to have all of your winter gear. It's like minus 23 degrees right now, but it feels good, the sun's out. Almost there. We're moving and grooving. And this is gonna be our lovely home for the next 30 hours. All aboard, here we go. All right, this is nice and cozy. Bed, dining table, I think this can work. We are starting the journey of a lifetime across Siberia. We even got food here on the table. What do we got? Biscuits, chocolate, all the goodies. We have one bed here, one bed here, and underneath we put our bags, which is kind of nice. We got towels. Yeah, I think we even got robes. Are these dirty? That's what I'm saying. I don't think those are our towels. Huh. I think those are our towels. They give us these nice little blue slippers that we can just walk around the cabin on. And we got water bottles here, glass bottles. We got a magazine, which definitely is all in Russian, but if we can look at the pictures. Question is, where's the vodka? There was a restaurant cabin, I think it's that way. Oh, oh there's a cabin for it. The train just started moving. It's 3.52 p.m. <laughs> we got 30 more hours left from right now. This is the moment. We have liftoff. What's your name? Vadim. Vadim. My name is Drew. Vadim. Nice to meet you. I'm not sure if that counts as a friend. <laughs> I tried to make a friend with him, but... Does that count Andre as making a friend? That doesn't count. Friendship is relative. Okay. Well, maybe we'll see him again later. And here's our solution for the GoPro. We have duct taped it. Well, say what you will, I'm a, I'm a Da Vinci of my time. Follow me. Uh, teacup? Chai? Tea. Tea. Oh, you speak English? <laughs> What's your name? Huh? Name. What's your name? My name is Alexander. Drew. My name is Drew. I'm uh, Amer American. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> My first friend. <laughs> we got one. We got one. <laughs> Small bathroom. This is how you flush the toilet. And then if you want to clean the toilet, they have this thing. For the life of me, I would never touch that thing. Oh, chili. <laughs> Oh my god. Are we allowed to go? Dude, it's freezing, man. This is really outside weather. Dude, you can, you can see the pieces of snow coming through. Whoa, dude, it's freezing. <laughs> that was cool. So, this is the bar. They got all kinds of stuff. Several bottles of vodka. What do you want? You want something? Uh, yeah. Give me a Stella. Adin Stella. Oh, okay, we've been demanded. Speak English? Where are you from? Moscow. You? America. I know where. Arizona. You want beer? I buy you beer. You want? Are you sure? Oh, you work here? Okay, what's your name? Grigory. My name is Drew. Drew? Yeah. 
a big dream. My babushka from Minsk. If you got drunk, you must drink. <laughs> he said, if your grandma's from Belarus, you must drink. Why is she from Minsk? I, uh, Jewish, Russian. Shalom. <laughs> babushka, shalom. <laughs> shalom. Uh, you know Hebrew. You, you live on the train. Yeah. How many days? It won't working one time. Uh, 14. 14 days. So across Russia, Moscow, Vladivostok, Moscow. Mm. Oh my God! Do you want some vodka? I'll buy. I'll buy you vodka. Uh, okay. Are you sure? No. Okay. Он будет комарали. Хотел увидеть это. Вот он и я. А, ну отлично. Расскажите ему, может, историю какую-нибудь. How are you? Как дела? What do you say? Да. How do you say my friend? The word is друг. 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 Просто это... He reeks of vodka. Как, как, ну, я тебе не объясню даже. I gotta get on his level. I've been on the train for like 30 minutes and I made three friends already. Все, как бы, по-другому. Being in his presence is, is, it, is an odor. Too much vodka. Three days. Three days? He said, do you drink vodka? Yeah. Oh God, we're being challenged by this guy to drink vodka. I think my life might be ending right now. I would be honored to have a shot of vodka with you. He's actually ordering vodka right now. Uh, my turn, I'll pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. I tried to pay for the vodka. What is going on right now? Guys, I, I can't make this stuff up. We've been on the train for like 45 minutes and not only have I made three friends, but this guy behind me is buying me shots of vodka. Like he, he wants, he, he reeks of vodka. The, the other guy said he's been on the train for three days drinking vodka. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? He said, don't embarrass vodka, man. <laughs> Andre, I want you to tell me that this is not the best idea to take this train to most idea. This is incredible. What's happening right now is... It's peak. Pe peak, we're peaking. Я хочу пить vodka. Вот, смотри, вот, мужик, ты. He's like, you are a man, aren't you? Uh, yes, da, da, da. Have you bought a whole bottle? Yeah. Dude, you bought, I thought he bought a shot. Stop. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Hey, opa. Da, da. Dude, if he drinks anymore, I don't know how this guy's gonna function. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Da. What's that? Chu chu. Chu chu. Normal. It's like the normal amount. Give him a normal amount. What premium? Yeah. Finish the same here. Давай. Давай. Завтра ты не скажешь спасибо. Для буду. Не, оно не вкусно, оно как бы оно классно. It's not delicious, but it is cool. So that guy was saying that he's been drinking for two days non-stop and he drinks two bottles of vodka per day. And he's not even close to being done yet. Yeah. So he's saying that uh, this guy might fall asleep and if he falls asleep, don't worry about it. What on earth is going on right now? Three times when he called the waiter over, and was like, I just want a bottle of vodka. And she's like, you literally have a bottle of vodka right in front of you. And he's like, I don't care. Gregory, do you see people like him all the time on the train? They sell a lot of vodka and they have a lot of people that drink. And so from that point of view, financially, this is a great investment. <laughs> all right, so uh, we need a little bit of a life update. That drunk guy just grabbed my camera. He actually grabbed the mic and squeezed it as hard as he could. And I uh, thought he was trying to steal my camera, but apparently he wasn't. And the other guy was just like, Gregory was like, oh, he's like a wild animal. He just gotta, you never know what's gonna happen. We've been on this train for two hours now. And this has been absolutely outrageous. <laughs> I think this might be the craziest, wildest, most unpredictable story that I've ever told on my in the YouTube channel. Meanwhile, I haven't even spoken about the views outside. They are just spectacular. Everything is covered in white. And you see these little towns that we're passing, these little snow-covered rooftops. The sun is setting. Here's the first course. 
a little appetizer. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all. It's very good. Yeah, you want one too? I think you want one. Okay, yeah, you want give one. Do you want ice cream? How much? Placebo. All right, we just got some ice cream. Oh my god. This guy's so photogenic. Really good, really good ice cream. Good. Do you like Putin or no? The last three years, don't like it. Gregory's the best, super nice guy, and his father's Jewish. Well, this is one of the most epic sunsets I've ever seen in my life. There's a, a pond here, a frozen pond, and all these pine trees, and just watching the trees go by and the sun setting. It's also crazy to think that we're gonna have darkness for like 16 hours because we're in the middle of the winter. So uh, just cherishing this moment. It's only been like two or three hours and it's been <laughs> absolutely crazy experience. So who knows what's next, but I'm absolutely loving this so far. We're gonna try to get some rest here pretty soon. So got my bed, throw some music in and try to wake up for sunrise because I know it's gonna be so cool. We're gonna be in the middle of nowhere, Siberia, with the sun rising. So, pretty good experience so far, eh? No complaints. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, to be continued. Quickly guys, I wanna let you know that the official launch of my Jesco app is next Sunday, although I'm doing a soft launch right now with a link in the description down below. I created this app for you guys so you can connect and network with like-minded travelers in this amazing community. You can join in-person meetups, you can DM each other, you can see who's around you. We already have like 5,000 people in here and look, these posts are every one minute, every two minutes. There's so much good action happening. It's a free app and if you download now, I'm gonna be going live. So I'll see you guys in here and uh, let's get back in the story. Morning. Somehow I managed to sleep eight hours. The sun is just about to come up. We're in some little dinky town, absolutely in the middle of nowhere. All right, I'm about to do something very brave and bold. I'm gonna go take a shower on this train. The cost is 150 rubles or like $2. And uh, I got a little towel. Got my soap and shampoo that I packed myself. And uh, this is what it's like to shower on a Trans-Siberian Soviet train. Uh, shower? Shower. She's walking me to the shower. <laughs> so cold. I need to... This is the shower room. <laughs> ba -da -dun -da -dun -dun. It smells like... World War II. I'm definitely keeping my shoes on because I am not stepping on that rug. This is very mysterious water. I don't know where the water source is coming from, but somehow it's hot, actually hot. The fact that I'm in like a random ass part of Siberia right now blows my mind. I have no thoughts or words to say about this experience. YOLO, I guess. I've taken a lot of showers in my day in weird places, but this might be the weirdest. I'm in the middle section here where it's just as cold as here is outside. I'm gonna brush my teeth right now. It's so cold that the toothpaste is almost frozen. my teeth and I went in the middle section where it's really cold mm -hmm. because I, I think it's kind of gross to brush in the bathroom and I don't yeah. want to use the water mm -hmm. 
I was like mid brush, and then this guy, the, the, a new guy, walks out and he's like, "What are you doing in here?" In Russian, I understand. I was like, "Oh, I'm just brushing my teeth," and he's like, "No." He was like really, really upset that I was brushing in there. I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. I was, I was spitting it in, in the bottle. Yeah. But he just was upset. About 8:30 a.m. <laughs> Apparently, he's uh, wants to drink again. What is that? Okay. Oh, that means vodka? Drink. Oh, really? Ah, oh, drink. drink. Yeah. Alright, breakfast is being served. Pasiba. <laughs> Typical Russian style, like crepes. I mean, the family is It's my actual lecture. Pretty good. Standard crepe. Always got the raspberry jam in Russia. It's the best. It's good, right? Really good Dude, jam. The jam in Russia is always good. Pasiba. Mm. You bought it for me? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, this is a dirty glass. Thank you. I want to show you this photo that I got yesterday of me and you. <laughs> I think you red, I am blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are communist, I see. Oh. <laughs> he called me a communist. Yes. Good day. I'm buying this train magnet at the gift shop here. Uh, one of you guys can win it. Comment below your name and five emojis of the five countries you want to visit most. And I'm going to be choosing a winner at random. In 48 hours from now, I'll ship worldwide with a personal note, which is a little fun thing. Are you from Novosibirsk? Uh, no, Krasnoyarsk. Krasnoyarsk. I'm from the US. Uh, your English is good. Thank you. What's your name? Margarita. 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 Oh, it's like a drink. You know? Yeah. I'm a sportsman. Oh, what sports? Uh, speaking. Bodybuilder. You're a bodybuilder? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Have a nice day. Uh, bye bye. Alright, that definitely counts as friend number four. I don't know if that footage came out at all, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we got one more friend to make. Dude, you have like one hour to make one friend. Yeah, we have one hour left in this train. I gotta make one more friend. Game on. He just shows up out of nowhere. The Russian view. We were just. We <laughs> Russian were... I'm gonna admit this guy. Gregory, he's the coolest. When I came on this train, I gave myself a challenge to meet five new friends. You're one of them. Right now I have four. Can you introduce me to one person that you know on this train? I'm the best. <laughs> Does he count as two? He counts as two friends. Okay. <laughs> he says, how can you possibly be more interesting than me? Everybody's going to love you in this video. You're going to be a superstar. <laughs> you like beer? It's this time now. Ten years ago, and it's this time I'm a rook. I now drink five years after finish. But when it begins, beer, 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 more beer. Donald Trump. Ah, oh, Donald Trump. <laughs> yes, of course. You, you like America? No. Why? Because America. <laughs> you don't like? Because America everywhere. Everywhere I want real. This is business. This guy's problem in Europe in this time. America. What's problem for America? No. Stop it. I think now's a great time to reflect and just mm. say that it's been a great journey to hang out on the train and rethink life and Hang out with these people. I mean, man, what a freaking experience! My God, man, what is that? Army. Army. Is all go to Ukraine. Now? Army going to Ukraine. Yeah. War. Gregory showed me these videos on his phone three weeks before Mr. Putin invaded Ukraine. At the time, I had no idea how horrible the situation would be, and I'm devastated for our Ukrainian friends who are currently fighting for their survival. My good friends at Yes Theory are on the ground in Poland right now, and they have already raised $400,000 to help those in need. If you want to donate, please see their fundraiser linked below. 100% of proceeds are going directly to food, shelter, and other items needed for Ukrainian refugees. Thank you for your help, and thank you for watching this video. I am sharing these stories with mixed emotion because I am so against this war. I spent 10 days in Ukraine in 2015, and I absolutely love that country and its beautiful people. I've always said that Kiev is one of the most underrated cities in Europe. However, I also think that this war is not a reflection on the Russian people themselves, and that's why I decided to continue with this video. 
The Trans-Siberian train experience was something I will never forget, and I hope you enjoy the journey. My final episode in Siberia is next Sunday. I will see you guys then. Thank you. Anytime. Just arrived in Novosibirsk. Wow, I can't believe we just took a 30 hour train, 2000 kilometers across Siberia. It was an absolutely incredible experience. So many characters in this video, Gregory and Sasha, and this is just, it's probably my favorite video in this Russia series and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more videos all around Russia. Hit me up on Instagram, at Drubinsky. Plenty more amazing content coming and uh, this is just about as good as it gets, guys. So I'll see you later. Peace. I'm Drubinsky and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel down there if you want to see more adventures from every country and below you can find my second channel where I tell stories about the most inspiring people in the world. Also, I'm giving away for free all my best travel tips and secrets for finding cheap flights on that middle link. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.